<笑>よしメガガッタイだ了解トランスフォーム人類オーバーロードのパワーを思い知らせてやる Folks Welcome back to Magnus's Loot Crate I'm your host as always Magnus Deacon Now folks This is one I probably should have got on earlier on But it was during that period when I was busy kind of Getting things arranged into Magnus Lair But folks I'm going to have to show you a couple of boxes here Today we are taking a look at the fans hobby MB-08 Double Evil. Now folks, the reason why I say three boxes, there's the second box with the tank mode in it. And as a bonus on this particular video, we got the MBA-04 accessories with the new gun two extra faces a chest plate and whatever the hell those three things are but you know what folks i think it's about time we just go ahead and dive right into it mega <laughs> So folks, here we have Fans Hobbies Double Evil in the first of two clamshells. I'm not there's not really a clamshell for the uh add-on kit, so I'm not really gonna do that one on the clamshell, but here you can see the top half or the jet fighter part in the clamshell pretty nicely packaged i do like this i mean it's this one of the rare few where it actually packaged in bot mode so we're gonna go ahead and switch over and here we have the tank mode in the clamshell this one's a little less bot mode transform but you know hey it's still it's still nicely packaged that you know it gives it a more compact box of course this you can probably tell the top half is where all the baggage really is. But folks, let's go ahead and pop him out of that clamshell, stick him on the turntable, and take a look at that bot mode. So folks, here's Double Evil in his bot mode. Of course, you can see the add-on kit's been added on, you know, hither and yon. The gun, the chest parts, you know, et cetera, et cetera. This, I had to zoom my camera way, way, way out just to get him fully in the shot because this is a big old boy. I'm kind of glad I picked this one up because he's a pretty decent bot. He's a big boy too. But folks, I really like the way he looks. He's got, you know, a lot of size, a lot of half. I could place some bets on the scale, but you know what? Let's, let's not count all our chickens till they hatch. But this is a very nice bot. He'll definitely be on his own, you know, on his own little side display somewhere in my house. But that's just it. This is one of those one-offs I talk about a lot. A one-off being one that normally I wouldn't get it because I really don't have that much of a care about the character. But this one I did have to get. So folks, let's stick him on the scale, see how fat this boy is, and then we'll take a more up-close and personal look. Folks, I normally don't do this, but I'm going to anyway. It's a sort of a two-in-one review because I showed you before. I do have the add-on kit, and as you saw on the turntable, I've got the chest plates already in place. So we're just going to go ahead and go through all of it. Folks, it comes, of course, with two sets of destructions. One for the plane mode, one for the tank mode, so that you can transform them into both. Of course, with the accessories, you've got sort of a little destruction manual with those too, just to show you how 
you know, where things go, how to swap out the extra faces, etc., etc. I can't say I'm ever going to use those extra faces. Eh. Anyway, he also comes with four missiles. Black with painted silver tips. Like I said, he's got four of them. I would suppose those are for the plane mode. I haven't really fooled with it a whole lot. Now this is his original gun that comes with the bot. You can fold it up and of course, you know, like that. And then there's not a whole lot to it. But of course you pull out the barrel, flip down the, uh, the magazine, flip down the handle. There you go. This gun really kind of wimpy compared to the one that the accessories came with. Well, I'll show you that in a minute. Of course, you got a trading card that comes with, I think it was the plane mode, front and back. It also comes with a destruction manual for how to place bonus stickers on the MB-06 Power Baser. Of course, there it is, the sticker sheet. You got the bonus stickers up here and the stickers for him down here. It comes with a lot of bits and bobs that I've already put into the bot mode. He's got this little fold up. I'm guessing this is part of the ramp for his base mode because the piece that goes here goes onto his shoulder when you put his plane cockpit there. Cockpit. Folks, here he is. Now this is a big old boy. Whoop. There he is. And as you see, it fell off, but it's better that way anyway. Because these are the chest pieces. You, you just kind of stick them on and then flip these pieces to hold them on. So it's kind of simple. Just make sure you're putting it on the right way. Stick it on there, push this little black piece up against it, and there you go. You've got his new chest plate. Of course, take these back off to show him in his more original glory. Because it also, each component comes with their respect of God Masters. If you've seen the show, which I have. The God Masters, you know, transform and that that's how they're, they're what was it called? Trans Tector. That's it. They're Trans Tector Transforms, but since this is a two in one, hence the name Double Evil. That's why. And of course you see this other gun in his hand. Now these slide they have a little piece right here that slides into a little grip in the in the palm of his hand. There. Now folks, this is a big old boy. Of course, he's got this one piece that helped. I, it's, I, it's part of his little, th it's like a little pinch. And then of course, there's the other piece of the ramp that I was talking about. That'll probably come into play when I show the base mode. And boy, do you hear those ratchets. Oh, I'm getting a stiffy just listening to them. Click, click, click. Now, one thing I did forget to mention in the uh, earlier, he comes with a couple of extras that go with his, you know, with his uh, add-ons. He's got these three little barrels that apparently will go into the tip of the bigger gun. And mind you, this transforms and goes onto the tank to give it a bigger gun too. So apparently you stick these little plug things into the end of the barrel and you can, I 
think it's on this part somewhere. It It's somewhere on here, but you can shoot them across the room now. That's a gimmick mostly for kids, but I'm pretty sure one of you guys are going to try to shoot the cat with it. Don't lie to me. I know you're going to do it. Of course, he also comes with two spare faces and an extra set of eyes, which that set of eyes try to get it centered here. Yeah, those, those those different faces I don't like too good, but that set of eyes with the sort of narrowed down, uh, maybe that's supposed to be when the lenses of his eyes are broke. I've never seen an episode where it looked like that. Of course, I haven't watched everything with Overlord in it. I've only watched a couple of episodes so far. But folks, so far that is it for the up close and personal. Let's go ahead and start transforming them into his different modes. Take a look at those. Now folks, just for the sake of transparency, I'm going to say this is one that this mode is probably one that I'm never going to use ever, ever again. But in the interest of due diligence, I had to at least show it to you, even if it was very briefly. This is the base mode that fans hobby double evil can get into. So if, if that's your thing, if you want to put him in base mode, this is how it looks. You know, you've got the little uh, power master figures, god masters, whatever the heck you want to call them. And... It, it's really nice looking, don't get me wrong, but this isn't the reason I got this character. So folks, that was a brief look at his base mode. Let's go ahead and move on to the vehicle modes. Now folks, you know it's not usual for me to jump in in between, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway, just because I feel like I neglected to show you the difference between the original gun that came with him and the accessory pack gun. That is a huge difference between these two and this one I like it, it uh, Overlord needs a big gun but anyway let's go ahead go to the next part so finally, folks, here we have the vehicle modes for Fans Hobby's Double Evil. I'm not too sure about that tank gun. That's that's the add-on kit, but of course, I don't know if I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe I don't really know, but it's not quite all the way on, and I really don't like the way that looks. I mean, I like the gun fine. It's just it, not being all the way on there doesn't quite look all that great but folks there they are they're a little crammed on the turntable but you know these are two very large vehicles and i would really have to put some time and thought into stands so that i could maybe raise the jet up i can't i'm kind of lamenting that fact and i really shouldn't but folks that is it for the fans hobby mb-08 double evil and the MBA-04 add-on kit. Folks, there you go. So folks, that is it for the Fans Hobby MB-08 Double Evil and the MBA-04 add-on kit for Double Evil. Folks, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Share it out to all your friends. Let them see the video too. I'd like to thank everybody who helped me out with this video artwork and otherwise folks don't forget to look down to the description check out all the cool stuff i have down there and don't forget to comment on this video if you like the figure or if you didn't like the figure either way let your voice be heard so folks that is it and i will see you next time has the imperial magistrate reached a verdict i have
find these figures and more at Show Z Store. Links in the description.